Wow, what happened here, huh? Hey guys, welcome back to an exciting day today in Norway, and that's because we just finished building two helical antennas that we're gonna be using on the SharkBite HD0 system. So here they are, fresh off the workshop desk, two right-hand circular polarized helical antennas. Uh, I built these specifically to match the patch antennas that come on the SharkBite system already. And the first test we're gonna do is not of long range, but of penetration. We're gonna take it up to a place that I call the gauntlet. It's up here in the woods. It's a super thick tree trail, and it's extremely difficult for FPV video signal to penetrate. If it can make it through there, we will consider that a huge win, and then later we'll be doing some long range testing. That's pretty impressive. I am excited, I just also feel very nervous, so I'm trying to be chill. Okay, but now it's time to test out our helical antennas in the gauntlet. How will we perform? Will we survive? Let's find out. All right, so we are ready to go. Here they are, looking like a couple satellites on my forehead, but let's see how they work. We're gonna walk over here, get to the same position that we've been flying each of these tests, and we'll get started. Here we go into the gauntlet. Hoping this goes well. I don't want to crash up here. I can of course go get it, but let's just uh, breathe. Uh, so at the moment, the breakup is pretty acceptable. Uh, it's getting a little aggressive. I'll pick up a little speed here. Just see if I can't power out. Oh God, oh God, where am I? Oh my God, I made it through. <laughs> uh, I didn't have signal the whole way through, <laughs> um, but we didn't crash. Whew, that's a little nerve wracking. Uh, that test is a little tricky. Uh, even my analog setup at 800 milliwatt can barely make it through there. Uh, yeah. Wow, what happened here, huh? Shit. What the hell happened here, folks? Now, this is loose, but that's probably from the crash. Uh, maybe. I don't know. That is weird. Weird. That was weird. That was weird. That was a weird ending to the flight. <laughs> uh, darn. I'm a little disappointed by that. Um, this could be very well related to this antenna unplugged itself or something, or maybe the camera. I don't know, but that was weird. We were just flying around and all of a sudden black screen, nothing crazy. Super, super pleased that my GPS rescue worked. All right, guys, well, that is our test for today. We're gonna go back to the the studio here. We're gonna go back to the studio and uh, think about what the heck happened. Okay, hey guys, welcome back. Another beautiful day today in Norway. Uh, yesterday we did a range test and we had some issues where the little divvy cable, what do you call it, MIPI cable? The MIPI cable broke at the end of the flight, which was crazy, just completely lost signal. I've replaced that, figured out that was the problem. I've updated the firmware. And so we're gonna do another range test here. And as you can see right behind me here, I have a pretty nice, sweet, open spot to go. If I could hit four kilometers today, I think I'd be pretty pleased. But let's just get into it because the sun is setting and we're running out of time. Here we go. See the detail on these trees is pretty decent, huh? I think overall the actual the image quality looks pretty nice right now. So this is actually just a kind of a fairly basic uh, five inch quad I'm using. It's not really built for any sort of long range. Uh, so it doesn't really handle the wind so well. It's not so efficient. Uh, but the battery I'm using is a 4200 milliamp hour lithium ion battery. This is, this is 
right? I'm super impressed. These helical antennas are really working really well. Not bad for basically free. Right up here to the mountain. Looking nice, huh? Looking nice. Look at this, what the heck? Do I really have five bars? Could this really be possible? It's all over the place with this signal bars, but my signal looks dope, and I have an LQ of eight. 4.3 kilometers. All right, that, that is a win, you guys. I'm gonna turn around just because I'm pretty far away, and I don't know how great these, how great this battery is gonna be, so, so I hope I make it home. Uh, so obviously with helical antennas, you need to really keep your head in the right direction. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'll turn my head to the left here. And I'm almost pointing completely to the left here, and I still have pretty good signal. Uh, so you can see that they're not horribly directional. Uh, I'm turning all the way to the right here. There you go, you got some snow here. Uh, but I mean, that's turning my head completely sideways. So if you just keep your head basically straight, I like to aim my feet in the general direction that I'm supposed to be flying and kind of use those as I'm flying as kind of guides. So when you put the goggles on, it's easy to lose track where you are and where you should be pointing your head. Uh, but hey, good news, we're gonna make it back. Here we are, everybody. Let's go ahead and do a little celebratory. Yeah. All right, that was a huge win. Tell me what you think. Here we go. Okay guys, so we're gonna do a little long range test right here. The goal is to get to this peak right here and to see how far back we can get to maybe this peak. Uh, this peak is about six kilometers, so I don't think I'm gonna make it there today, but we'll see how far we can get out with the signal and we'll just keep pushing it. I'm gonna be using, again, the helical antennas that I made uh, last week. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and just get in the air. Here we go. What a beautiful night, huh? What a beautiful night, beautiful flight. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the section. I'm happy to help you guys with your long range systems. This is awesome. Signal's looking okay. Definitely getting some little sparkles. That might just be unavoidable at this point. Um, but here we are coming up over the edge. I have to be careful if I dip too low and I try to follow the ground, I actually can fail safe here. I've done that before and my God, GPS rescue saved me. But uh, it's better just to have a good flight, flight plan. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and follow this ridge line. Yeah, pretty good signal at the moment, so I really think the position of that antenna helped quite a bit. So here I definitely can't dip too low because I will definitely lose signal. Uh, we're gonna see how far we can go. Wow, look at that, you guys. This is a huge win. Uh, we could have easily hit six today. Uh, so I think definitely aiming that antenna is, is pretty critical. Uh, so keep that in mind when you're flying, you guys. So if you guys want to build a long range shark bite system for pretty cheap, you can definitely do it. Okay, cool. That was a successful flight, I would say. Uh, we made it about 5.5 kilometers out, maybe a little bit further. I think we could have easily hit six, but I turned around today because the battery was just getting so low. Uh, we will hit six kilometers another day. We'll set that range test up, maybe on a warmer or sunnier day. Uh, it's a little overcast today, so. Till next time, I guess.